reviving the faith of a mother of child with cancer. Kwong Gai the moment she heard that her son's tumor was malignant, the cost of a bone marrow transplant was about 150 million VND. Miss Lone clutched her hand to the door of the ward, shocked and then burst into tears. In February 2021, when her son Tran Van Hung was eight months old, Pham Si Kim Lone accidentally discovered that he had three testicles. Taking her daughter to the hospital, the doctor concluded that this was a tumor. She almost fainted. Baby Hung had to be hospitalized for surgery and waited for the tumor biopsy results for a month. The day he took him to the oncology department, the Nong Obstetrics and Gynecology Hospital for treatment, Baby Hung was only nine months old, his eyes still bewildered as he looked around. The mother holds her child in her arms, dazed. She and her husband moved from Modak, Kwangai to Da Nang to make a living and could only afford to take care of their family's living expenses. Now I carry an malignant disease, like death hanging over my head. At that time, I was almost desperate because I couldn't treat my child's illness, Lone recalled. The treatment regimen given to Hung is four chemotherapy prescriptions. Her husband and wife ran away to borrow money everywhere to pay for hospital fees. Less than a year old. The baby had to receive chemotherapy. How many hairs that have not been able to grow long have fallen, is how many times a mother bit her lip to hold back the tears. Every time he wakes up after a drug infusion, opens his eyes to look at his mother, baby hung smiles and asks to be held. Looking at her son's clear eyes and life force, Long told herself to be strong to accompany her son on the long journey ahead. Miss Lowe takes care of her children at the hospital, all expenses fall on her husband's shoulders. The income of 5 million VND per month is not enough to both take care of Hung's medicine and raise his 9-year-old son, who is of school age. Every time I go to medicine, Lone is busy borrowing everywhere. When the epidemic broke out, the hospital only let one relative take care of the baby. I'm still young. I'm still attached to my mother. Living conditions are difficult. Even when going to the toilet, the baby cries. She has to carry it on her body. She tries to overcome it and hopes that after the treatment regimen, the child can return home healthy. Three months after the end of chemotherapy, Ung's genitals showed signs of swelling again. Another tumor grew at the old location. She has a hunch that this time of admission, there will be greater difficulties waiting. After receiving the results of magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, the doctor informed that Hung had to undergo a bone marrow transplant to hope that the disease would not recur. Best, you should take your child to Hugh Central Hospital for a bone marrow transplant. The estimated cost is about 150 million VND, the doctor said in his mind. Farewell to the doctor. She absentmindedly carried her child along the corridor, intending to carry the child home and leave it to fate, but the smile of the child awakened the mother. She realizes that the desire to live in her child is still very strong and as a mother, she does not allow herself to give up hope of her child's life. Immediately returning to the hospital room, she hesitantly asked the doctor again about the amount to prepare. The doctor encouraged her to carry the child first and the money could be asked by sponsors to support later. Poor family, no land or any valuable property to pledge. She and her husband borrowed everywhere, collected 20 million dong, took their children to Hugh for treatment. The cost of living is high, the amount is decreasing day by day. The doctor indicated that Hung should continue to receive four rounds of high-dose chemotherapy before performing a bone marrow transplant. Knowing the difficult situation of Miss Lone's family, the Son of Hope program supported the baby with 100 million VND for treatment. The day she received a call informing her about the amount of money being helped, the couple hugged each other and cried during the meal. At that moment, all the faith in me that had been exhausted for a long time began to revive again. I knew that my child would receive a bone marrow transplant. 
there would be hope to live. I thought it was like he was born again. More, Miss Lone said. MSC New Yen Si Kim Ho, Pediatrics Center. Q Central Hospital said that Hung had diffuse large B cell lymphoma, had been treated before but the disease recurred. After being admitted to the hospital, the baby received two rounds of chemotherapy and the results responded well. The baby will receive stem cells and have two more rounds of chemotherapy. Then the department will conduct a bone marrow transplant for her. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma is among the five most common childhood cancers, accounting for about 7% of childhood cancers in developed countries. With current chemotherapy drugs, the five-year survival rate ranges from 80 to 90%. However, for recurrent cases, like the case of Hung, the cure and prolongation of life requires the use of high-dose chemotherapy and bone marrow transplantation. At 22 months old, two-thirds of that time, Hung was in the hospital to fight his illness.